So the first area that you really figured out, and, and did you figure it out because when you were in production, you were tracking these things and you were holding yourself accountable? Like, was there some sort of like, you know, you knew what it took to be a top agent and you were just going to hold people to the same standards or what was that transition like? I didn't look at it as this is what it takes to be a top agent. I just looked at it from the standpoint of, you know, classic Michael Gerber e-myth, like nobody can do it as good as you. And we tend to stay in roles that we shouldn't be in because we think we can do it better than the next person. And that's our Achilles heel to ever growing a team. So I knew I didn't want to be baking the pies for the rest of my life, but I knew what I did. So I just looked at what I did and the results that I would get just doing what I would do because I'm trying to provide for my family and, and be successful at this thing called real estate. And I had an awareness around that. So when I started to hold other people accountable, I used what I was able to do as my baseline. And then from there, I was able to see, well, how much can I consistently get out of other people? Some are going to do better. Some are going to do worse. And I started to come up with an average that I could see across the board. Then if somebody didn't live up to that average, it was, it was identifying itself to me that I had an issue that I needed to solve, a hole in the boat, if you will, with this person. And it allowed me to have really meaningful conversations.